wanted to give y'all another uh, stock video. Wanted to uh, just follow up with y'all. Um, let y'all know how everything is going. It's been absolutely crazy um, in the stock market. <sighs> These past two weeks have been crazy. I'm moving forward, you know, with the current conditions in the market, I want to make a video on my perspective. Um, this is my thoughts, my opinions uh, on what's going on in the market. Um, like always, this is not financial advice, um, so please do your own research. So without further ado, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the video. Um, if you like any of my content, please make sure you hit the like button. Um, and if you want to stick around for the long haul, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So I got some notes written down for y'all. Um, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I jotted down some notes. So I have this uh, article pulled up here. Um, why stock investors are starting to really worry about rising bond yields. Um, and at the top of the article, uh, some of the key points it says, since February 10th, 10-year Treasury yields have moved from 1.13 to as high as 1.61, a rise of 48 basis points, the highest level in one year. And then it also goes to say, bond investors are getting worried about uh, the potential for inflation and then uh, a comment from an investor the investor says the days of simply piling into the market leaders regardless of valuation may be drawing to a close I um, mean this is an article published on CNBC um, it was published on February 25th the 10-year uh, Treasury bond yield right now as of today is March 7th the 10-year Treasury bond is currently sitting at 1.5540. And from my research, it looks like whenever the, the that bond yield, this 10-year bond yield, reaches that 1.5 uh, threshold, it seems to have a negative effect on the stock market. And then another concern is the rising interest rates and inflation. If you were in the stock market uh, for the for the year of 2020, you know that you know that various um, technology stocks um, doubled, some quadruple, five x, four x. Um, so you know people in the technology sector in 2020 saw. You know really really good gains on their investment um, so now it's kind of cooled off the market is kind of rotating um, from technology into you know various other sectors the industrial sector um, the energy sector um, should be doing good in these upcoming in these upcoming months here let me see if I forgot oh the healthcare sector obviously you know as as the vaccines keep rolling out, healthcare companies keep hitting their targets, you know, you should see good returns. Also, travel is really good right now. Um, one of my uh, stocks, I have uh, American Airlines. I got in um, at $17 a share, um, and I've seen, you know, really good gains on my American Airlines stock. Um, United Airlines is another stock um, that's done really well for me. So um, the market is kind of shifting. Um, I, you know, you got to stay up to date with this stuff. But I wanted to create a video to share, you know, what I've been seeing in the market and how I've been reevaluating my portfolio. Is uh, the market was just due for um, a correction phase, I guess. Um, uh, a minor pullback. Pullbacks and corrections are a healthy part of the stock market. Um, nothing can go up, go up forever. Um, and once a, a stock price is overvalued or it's not in line with its true uh, valuation, over the past 150 years, the average P.E. ratio reading is 16 point seven nine as of march third two thousand twenty one 
the P the average PE ratio is at 34.59. Let me read it again. Over the past 150 years, the average PE ratio is 16.9. As of March 3rd, 2021, the average PE ratio is 34.9. So that's more than double historic average. So like I was just saying, um, many, many companies are overvalued at this time. It was time for the market to kind of pull back. A lot of the stocks out there were way overpriced. Uh, the market got really expensive. Um, and, you know, it's just part of resetting the clock and, you know, making sure uh, stocks are at fair value price. To do some searching now, um, like I said, I would probably stay away from the technology sector. Right now, it doesn't seem like technology is where I would put my money at unless it's a solid company. Um, if it's a solid company, just keep buying the dips so you can lower your dollar, co uh, your dollar cost average. Um, but you have to make sure it's a solid company that's been proven over many, many years. But if you're trying to get into like a penny stock um, and it's in the technology sector, um, you know, me personally, I wouldn't do that right now. 2020 was a very different year. And then 2021 is a very different year. 2020, it was crisis. 2020, 2021, we're trying to get back to normality. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of things going on in the market and a lot of things going on in the world. So the market is kind of, this, the, the stock market is trying to decide, you know, what's going on and, you know, the direction. But as of right now, um, it looks like we're in a correction. And then some tips for y'all on how to, you know, reevaluate your portfolio and kind of how to weather the storm. Um, my first tip is... Um, don't don't sell any of your shares in the companies that you really believe in um, and that have a, a good track record because um, you only lose money when you sell your shares. Um, so, like I said, try to wait for the bottom of the downtrend. You can never predict that, um, but try to wait until, you know, it hits the rock bottom of its lowest of lowest prices. And then at that time, I would just buy as many shares as you can um, on the dip. Um, and then once the stock market recovers, you'll see greater gains because your dollar cost average is at a lower price point. Okay, so if it's a good company and you believe in it um, and it's tried and true, do not sell your shares. My second uh, advice would be to diversify your portfolio. Um, don't just put all your money in one specific field of the stock market so look into different sectors don't just be tunnel vision on one specific area of the market um and then my third tip is um try to keep some cash on hand don't always invest a hundred percent of your funds into the stock market keep some cash on hand so when a good opportunity comes up you could jump on it Okay, my fourth tip here is uh, make sure you're investing in more stable, deep rooted, high dividend. Um, you know, uh, some uh, one of the stocks that I'm in right now that gives out a really good dividend is Home Depot. Um, Home Depot and uh, Citigroup are uh, two good stocks that have pretty good dividends. Make sure you're invested in stable, deep rooted. Um, well off, uh, financially well off companies, or you could put your money in index funds or ETFs, um, ETFs and index funds, they, they see less drop offs or sell offs when there's a correction. Um, just because in the index fund or ETF, there's X amount of companies in there. So if one company is doing poorly in that ETF, then maybe some of the others are doing well. So between the percentages of the companies and of the companies in there, you won't see that big of a 
of a drop off in the share price. Um, so ETFs and index funds um, typically hold up a little bit better um, when it comes up when it comes to like a market correction or something like that. Um, and then fifth is um, you know just thinking of the as the market is it's on sale. Um, your favorite stocks are at a discounted price. So once again, if it's at a discount, you want to jump in on it because when the market comes back, you'll see some pretty nice turns on your uh, investment. Lastly, I wanted to uh, touch on Bitcoin. Um, since the last time we spoke, uh, Bitcoin um, has been mainly like consolidating sideways. Um, so it hasn't really gone up and really hasn't gone down. Um, currently, if I look at my phone here, let me see if I look at my phone give me one second currently Bitcoin is it's right there okay and then ethereum is right there okay um so I think the last time I recorded the video, it was right around this price. Right now, it's at forty-nine thousand Bitcoin, and Ethereum is at sixteen hundred, uh, give or take. Um, also, um, Square Square invested one hundred and seventy million dollars worth of Bitcoin. What well, it bought one hundred and seventy million dollars worth of Bitcoin. You know, as more and more of these big institutions buy into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin it stabilizes the price it'd be less volatile and it should go up in value um, you know especially when these big institutions buy into Bitcoin uh, Tesla they've already seen their investment in Bitcoin double um, so it's only a matter of time before Bitcoin takes that next step up uh, it did reach 57,000 at one point I believe back in uh, February um, but now it's kind of, you know, going down a little bit and has been consolidating sideways for like the past two weeks. Um, so it is stabilizing right around high 40s, um, right at that 50,000 mark. So, you know, get in while you can. If you have a couple of extra bucks, I would recommend throwing it um, in Bitcoin because these big companies are buying it. Um, so that only tells you, you know, it's getting more solidified um, as part of the you know investment so that's my uh that's my takeaway um as of what's been going on in the market you know, hopefully this video was helpful to someone out there someone you know pretty new in the stock market